All right, what's up guys? This is your boy Chris Reed Bees here, back with another video. Today I wanna to talk to you guys about kick and 808 side compression. So today we're gonna to be working in Reason and we're gonna use Reason. I'm gonna show you guys a couple of different ways that you can do side chain compression and how you can have your kick and 808 do side chain compression together so that way you can get your kick coming through and your eight can duck behind the kick a little bit so that way you get that oomph that you're really looking for in your beats. If you guys like videos like this, mixing tips and EQ tips, compression tips and tips and reason, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and like this video so that the channel can continue to grow. Make sure you turn on your bell notifications so you get notified whenever I drop another video. Uh, with that being said, let's jump into the video. All right, so what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna flip around the reason rack and we're gonna start to patch in some different things so that we can do this side chain compression. So the first way I'm gonna show you side chain compression is through the mixer or via the mixer. So we're gonna flip our reason rack around and what we're gonna do, now that we flip the rack around, we're gonna drag over our kick into the 808 dynamic side chain input. And when we do that, you'll see this light light up as key and if we press f5 and go to our mixer you'll see on our mixer it's lit up over here as well so all we need to do is turn on compressor and now the compressor is enabled and so now you'll hear what's happening is every time that the kick hits that 808, the 808, it, the compressor is activating and it's dropping down or, or, or it's lowering the dB of the 808 just in that moment. We can change around these values so that we can get a better, a different sound that we want. So first of all, I'll say we wanted to have a fast attack because we want as soon as that kick to hit, we want the compressor to drop down. So we turn on our fast attack and we'll see a difference. So every time that kick is hitting, that's what's happening. Now, if you're wondering how come we, we aren't hearing the kick anymore, well, the reason why is because the kick is being routed directly into this channel and is no longer coming through the redrum channel. But if you wanna fix that, all you would have to do is go ahead and create, in the utilities, create yourself a, a audio merger splitter, and then drag this one into this uh, a section right here and it will split it where one section can go out into there and the other section you can route to new mix channel and now you have a completely new mix channel and you have your kick drum and then that kick that's 808 all right so now so that we can see you know how it can dramatically be changed, we're gonna go ahead and, and affect some of this. So if our, the way compressors work, of course, the ratio is the amount that the sound gets compressed or the amount that the sound gets reduced, right? The, the amount that the peak gets reduced. So the more ratio you have, the more that sound is taking out. The threshold is the level at which we want it to be dropped at. So the higher the threshold, uh, the, the more the level will be dropped. So for example, if I turn my compressor, I should say the lower the threshold. So if I turn my ratio all the way up to an infinite and I turn my, my threshold all the way down, we're gonna have a dramatic, dramatic, dramatic effect. A dramatic effect. So what, so what we're hearing right now is that compressor is, is limiting, it really is working as a limiter. Every time that kick comes in, it's dropping volume, right? It's dropping volume from that 808. But it's very dramatic. We really don't want it to be so dramatic. So one way we can make it less dramatic is we can turn our threshold up higher. And then we can kinda then we can play around with uh, the value until we get it to somewhere that we want it. Of course. Now, of course, this 808 is, is pretty high in general, so we can go ahead and um, 
turn some of that down. What we're trying to do is we're trying to level out our kick and our 808, right? We don't want that kick to be drowned out by the 808, which is what it really can become. So that is a way that we can do side chain compression in order to have that 808 drop out just a little bit and have the kick come in. It's still a little dramatic, so I'm gonna turn down our ratio. I'm gonna turn down our ratio to about four, right? Four to one is, is pretty standard uh, ratio. All right, last but not least is the release. Now the release is working on the transient of the 808. So if you have an 808 that you want to extend out, if you wanna have a long release on that 808 to, to fatten it up more as it's coming out, then make your release longer. And if you want it to be cut short, then cut it down shorter. Make your release time much shorter and you'll hear the, the effect a, as we um, play it now. So right now we have a very short release time, which means the compressor compresses the 808 and then it stops. Right after it compresses it, it very quickly, 100 milliseconds later, it very quickly stops compressing it. So it's only right when that kick hits. So you can see the meters are jumping right back up because the release is so much faster. But if we make it lo longer, this happens. So you watch this meter here, it's growing, it's growing. So, so, so with a longer release, it's allowing that 808 to be elongated, right? And, and it's allowing those waveforms to, to keep going outward, uh, rather than having it short where it just cuts the compressor short, the kick comes in, the 808 drops, and then it gums right back up. So you wanna find the release that you know gives you the sound and the feeling that you want the best and so it depends on what kind of music you are making some music calls for longer release times some music calls for shorter release times but it's all about your flavor okay. that's the first way that we can use sidechain compression using the compressor that's built into reason 10s and reason 10 and so on's mixer channel bus now we're going to use it with an actual compressor and you can use this with any compressor that you have any plug-in compressors that you have and many plug-in compressors come with a side chain uh button that you can just you can easily set this up but i'm gonna show you how you can set it up with reason in stock with with stock sound and stock plugins all right so let's flip the rack around so we can add in the compressor so to add in this compressor, we're just gonna hold shift and we're gonna go to create effects and compressor that creates it without it plugged into anything at all. Right now we have the kick. The kick is still coming in from our splitter. We're gonna take one of these splitters and we're gonna put it into the side chain. Now for the compressor routing, what you need to do is you need to route the instrument to the compressor, route the output to the mix channel, okay? Route the compressor, Route, route the instrument to the compressor, route the compressor to the channel, to the mix channel. So now the compressor is, is active. And even if we do not activate our side chain, if we, it, then you just use, that's how you will route it as a compressor. All right, so now that everything is routed correctly, we're gonna have the same pattern. We're gonna have the same thing happening. And as you can see, whenever the kick comes in, I'll even do something like this so you can see it. So you can see that it, um, every time the kick comes in, it affects that sound. It affects that sound every time that kick comes in. So same thing applies using this kind of compressor. And if you have another kind of of a rack extension or another kind of compressor, then you can just use that as well. So the same thing, the same idea follows we're going to either turn up we're going to turn up our ratio turn down our threshold increase if you need more gain if you want more of this kick to come in you can increase the gain right of of, of what's happening um no i'm sorry that's wrong 
if you put the input gain up that's going to increase the volume of this 808 same thing with the attack and same thing with the release it just depends on what sound you're going for see how much gain reduction is happening because we have the attack where well, we have the ratio so high so let's turn our ratio down now there's no gain reduction some gain reduction not enough though That's how you set up sidechain compression in Reason. I gave you guys two ways that you can set it up. One, using the main mixer's channel bus routing using sidechain compression. Uh, and the second way is using the M-Class compressor as well. If you like videos like this, make sure you guys like this video and subscribe to the channel. I'll be back with more mixing tips here in Reason 10. This is your boy, Chris Reed Beats. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.